tonight we're going to be checking out all of the Bulgari Aqua fragrances, or at least all of the in production and easy to get fragrances. Now to be honest with you guys, I was going to go over Bulgari Aqua Tonic and also Bulgari Aqua Marine Tonic, and I have Marine Tonic right here just to make it a complete list even though these are discontinued and you can't really pick them up on discounters, you kind of have to go eBay and other third party and stuff to get them. I was going to feature these, but the issue with this fragrance is that it's gone bad. Now, I actually bought two of them from completely different sellers, just trying to give them a chance to, or to give the fragrance a chance. And from both sellers, uh, the fragrance was bad. Now, I'm not pointing fingers at any sellers. These were verified, authentic sellers on eBay that have hundreds of thousands of transactions and positive feedback. So I'm not going to be calling anyone out. It's not their fault that these fragrances have spoiled. Just the fact that they're old. I mean, these are old fragrances and, you know, I don't know what the deal is, but they've gone bad, or at least the two that I've tried. So I've kind of given up on trying to get a good bottle of aqua tonic and aquamarine tonic. So because of that, those aren't going to be in the video. Instead, we're just going to be going over all of the main fragrances that are still in production and easy to get. So yeah, it's a little bit frustrating because I wanted this to be a complete video. I tried my best, but regardless of that, we're going to go over all four of the fragrances in the line. Starting off with the first one, Bulgari Aqua Pour Homme. This is where it all started. And guys, let me tell you, you shouldn't sleep on this fragrance. This was actually the last one of the line that I picked up. I started off with Aqua Atlantique, or actually I started off with Aqua Amara way back when I first started out, then Aqua Atlantique, then Aqua Marine, now this one. And I wish I would have picked this one up sooner because even though it is the original, even though we have other flankers that have been released, it still smells great. It still holds up and it is still very relevant. Honestly, you don't hear too many people talk about the original Aqua Poron, but this one is great. This one has orange up top along with a nice salty seaweed accord. You also get a bit of lavender and woods in the base. So, you know, it, it starts off the whole Bulgari Aqua DNA pretty nice. Nice orange top note with some saltiness, a bit of a marine type of smell, and then some lavender and woods in the dry down. Smells masculine. It smells pretty good and it's definitely unique. Longevity on this one is going to be about seven hours, which is not half bad for an aquatic fragrance. I have no complaints there. You know, out of some sweeter fragrances with more depth, you may expect more, but out of an aquatic with a lot of citrus up top, that's pretty good. Now, in terms of projection, it's going to be about moderate, you know, kind of right there in the middle, maybe slightly below average to average is going to be the projection on this one. So not going to be a room filler, but also not going to be something that sits really close to your skin. This one will produce a nice scent cloud around you, and it is something that people will be able to pick up on when you're wearing it. So really overall, I don't really have any complaints on Bulgari Aqua. Uh, one of the main things you'll hear across the board with these fragrances is the fact that on some people, they can smell like eggs, like rotten eggs for some reason. I've never experienced that, so that must be a skin chemistry type of thing. So I guess I'm lucky in that regard, but that's something that I wanna pass on to you. You know, maybe get a sample of one of these first and test them out um, before you dive into it just to see if these scents and this type of scent DNA will work on your skin. Moving up next here, we have Bulgari Aqua Marine. Probably my favorite bottle out of all of them. I mean, I love this bottle. It looks great, nice light blue. It looks like the water. It just looks like pool. It looks like ocean. It just looks like fun. These other bottles, kind of a bit darker. This one just has way more of a summery look going on to it, and I love it. Now, in terms of scent on this one, you're gonna get, instead of a prominent orange, you're gonna get more prominent grapefruit up top. And along with that grapefruit, you're getting a bit of neroli. So you'll notice right off the bat, this one starts off a lot more floral and a lot more lighter and brighter than the original Aqua. So it kind of switches it up here a little bit. The original was a bit darker, a little bit heavier, almost a little bit sweeter. This one is fresher, it's brighter, and it's a bit floral. So it's a change of pace here. To me, this one smells more like a summer fragrance than Bulgari Aqua does, just because of the bright and effervescent citrus opening that this one has, along with the Neroli. Overall, just gives it a bit more of a summery type of smell. Now, along with all that, you're gonna be getting a nice prominent seaweed note and some watery notes as well. So you may notice in the first fragrance, there's no like aquatic notes listed. You have seaweed, 
um, but there's nothing watery about it and you really don't smell anything that's too watery. But this one, because it is lighter and a bit fresher, it has a little bit more of a watery type of smell going on with it, which is pretty unique. Performance on this one's gonna be about seven hours. So really about on par with the original Bulgari Aqua. And along with that is about moderate projection. So I find that on my skin, maybe ever so slightly better projection from Aquamarine compared to the original Aqua. But you know, it's kind of splitting hairs. It's hard to say 100% for sure with something like that. Uh, just kind of from my experience, slightly better projection and about the same longevity. So again, for a summer aquatic citrus fragrance, about seven hours, that's pretty good, especially for the price that these come in, which across the board is going to be around um, 40 to $50, except for um, Aqua Amara, which is a bit more expensive. And we'll go ahead and get into that one now. Now, I find for me personally, Aqua Amara is going to be the most floral out of them all. And this was something that really threw me off in the beginning when I first got this scent. You know, the Neroli you get up top along with the orange, you know, there's no denying the fact that this has more of a floral and lighter um, quality to it, um, even more so than aquamarine in my opinion. And that threw me off in the beginning because when you hear people talk about this one, you hear people say it's very masculine, it's like strength of the ocean, strong, all that stuff. And when you smell it, or maybe it's just me personally, I don't know, just with how floral it is from the Neroli, from the orange mixture, it doesn't smell that masculine and that strong. Don't get me wrong, the orange in the opening is very invigorating. It's like a zesty orange peel and it smells great. I love the orange top note in this, but what almost kind of docks it a few points for me is the floral aspect of it. I think, you know, maybe with that floral aspect taken out and instead putting in some other notes, giving it a bit more depth and strength um, going along with the orange, I think, you know, I would enjoy it better that way. And of course, this one is discontinued. I'm sure you've heard of it a million times by now, which is really weird because this was by far the most popular from the fragrance line um, back when this one was getting hyped up and back before Aqua Atlantique was out. This one was all the rave, all the talk. People were picking it up for, you know, 40, $45 online for 100 mil and just wearing it and, you know, really rocking it in the summer. This was making a lot of summer lists. It was the talk of the town back when this was really getting hyped. Then for whatever reason, they discontinued it. So now, you know, it's hard to find. You can still pick up 50 ml bottles of this on discounters and stuff like that, but the 100 mils, pretty much impossible to find. So, you know, even though it is, you know, kind of weird with stock, you can still get them. It is discontinued. And, you know, because of that, you're going to want to pick up at least a 50 ml while you can, if you're interested. I was able to find myself a 100 ml backup bottle of this on eBay. I believe I paid about 50 or $60, which I was happy with. Um, you know, I figured I should get one now because I'm gonna be kicking myself when they're even harder to find. Performance on this one's gonna be about average eight, eight and a half, maybe nine hours of longevity and you know about moderate projection as well so definitely good performance it's going to be the best performing one so far longevity definitely better performing and projection you know it's going to be kind of splitting hairs again maybe a little bit better than aqua porome and aquamarine but it's hard to say for sure but longevity does have a beat in those other categories and the last one we're going to be going over today aqua atlantique so this is the newest flanker in the line and in my opinion this is my favorite. This is, I don't want to say it's the best one because, you know, in terms of how it compares to the others, it's it's different. It's an Ambroxan-based fragrance. It utilizes that note to a heavy extent, and that automatically kind of puts this in a category where it's considered basic. So, you know, I hesitate saying that this is better than the others because the others, in my opinion, are a lot more artistic. They're a lot more unique and they offer something, I guess, a bit different. And just, you know, if you want something that smells completely different, you go with those. This doesn't smell completely different because of the Ambroxan, because of the bergamot, grapefruit type of thing going on. This kind of gets lumped into the blue fragrance category. And the way I've described this one in the past is, this is kind of like a combination of Dylan Blue and Sauvage, 
over top of the Bulgari Aqua DNA. So it takes, you know, some of the sweetness from Dylan Blue that you're familiar with. It takes the zesty kind of freshness, bergamot, um, ambroxan from Sauvage, and then you get the salty uh, marine type of smell from the other Bulgari fragrances. And then kind of creates this. Now, in my opinion, out of Dylan Blue and Sauvage, this is gonna be my favorite just because it does have the marine type of smell and thus it makes it more unique compared to Sauvage and Dylan Blue and a lot of the other blue fragrances. But I'm still not saying that this fragrance is 100% unique because it does get lumped into that blue fragrance category. This one does have a salty sweetness and the opening is by far my favorite part. I mean, this stuff, when you spray it on, it hits you in the face. With that ambroxan, that blue type of smell, kind of Dylan Blue smelling to some extent, but with that salty marine type of smell as well. And it's something where you have to like aquatic marine scents to enjoy this one. Now, performance is where this gets good. Longevity on my skin, gonna be 10 plus hours every single time. In terms of projection, it's gonna be moderate to, you know, a little bit above moderate, or I guess I could say average to a bit above average. Um, this will, you know, it, it can fill up a room if you go with enough sprays, um, but I don't want to necessarily call it like a full on room filling scent because you do have to hit yourself with, you know, a good number of sprays, but it will definitely push out. And really what this one's known for is staying in the air. Like you can spray this up in the air and it stays there for a while. And it's the same effect when you're wearing it, you walk by, you walk through a room, it lingers in the air for quite a while. So very good sillage, very good projection, and especially very good longevity. And again, that's kind of unheard of when you're talking about aquatic marine type of scents with heavy focus on citrus. Typically, they don't last long, but this one lasts the longest by far, and it's one of my favorite summer fragrances of all time. So guys, there you have it. That was my full thoughts on all of the Bulgari Aqua fragrances, or at least the ones that you can get in stock and the ones that you can get that aren't gone bad, like my experience with Aqua Marine Tonic, which sucks because I really wanted Aqua Marine Tonic. It looked great on you know paper, on the note breakdown. I just couldn't find a bottle that was you know um, fresh and I didn't want to keep spending more money on them. They're gonna keep coming back and being rotten. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, this is probably one of my favorite aquatic uh, designer lines. I mean, you know, Bulgari has really done well with these aquatic marine scents and they all smell really nice. All the links to purchase these will be down below in the description if you wanna pick any of them up. Check them out on discounters link down below. Gonna be some of the lowest prices that you can get them for. All except for Aqua Amara should be around that 40, 45, $50 mark um, when you buy a tester, which is gonna be cheaper. Oftentimes you'll get a little plastic stand so you can kind of stand them up, which is nice because these bottles are super annoying to have when you have a collection because they just take up a lot of room. They kind of mess stuff up. So having the stand with the tester is pretty nice. And you know, since you're not getting a cap with any of these because they don't have caps, you, know, you can go with the tester and not really miss out on anything. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow night with another one. Take care.